going to create over the uh, Loti animations and the website that will help you in your journey of the development. So my name is Bargo and let's get started with this. So yeah, so what are the key things I'm going to show you in this video would be the website or the things you will be required not required basically but if you have them you will be going to a wonderful or a senior level thought developer basically so to, to see that so <laughs> this is my crazy wallpaper so let's say so we have list of four to five websites in my hands i will show you from the best to the best uh, let's go with that okay so moving forward this is our first website i think you might know this website it is a loti animation website and it provides you animation in simple terms so let's see uh, what like you are if you don't use this basically I will show you a simple line if you don't use this website or any kind of website like this your developing your apps or your softwares are literally 50% less good looking than you can make if you use this 50 to 80 percent less just imagine that so let's see in our app we are creating uh, anything you have endless amount of uh, potential in this website so let's say you're just creating an app let's say just give it a name of a single type of app let's say you are creating a yoga app okay not let's go niche down let's say you are creating a gaming platform right this is a niche one so you and you want a loading animation everybody has loading animations and if you want to give a key start you can so so basically what you can do is let's say you are creating a gaming app so firstly you can do we are not we are finding the key animations we can find on the basis of the game right so as soon as we hit the gaming okay so now you have endless options okay so now everything will depend on your imaginations okay so look at this this is a complete cool looking loading indication i guess you can use this you can use this in your sliders on the front end this is awesome this is a virtual reality animation this is also a loading indication. This is a perfect loading indication. I would have used that in my app if I was creating one. Okay. You can see there are so many images under this. So many animation. Cool looking animation here. Similar to that, if you go to the new page. Okay. You can see we have furthermore animations. Ignore this part. If you buy the premium subscription, you can have them. But if you don't have the premium subscription, just ignore that guys, right? you have game over animation so if you just create this guy or if you just create a custom one you will have to pay like plenty of money and you have to load them it's gonna be hard you can see this is a puzzle loading animation subscribe now button right yeah you have endless animation of doing this you can either create the complete game in this right let's see we can go further i have selected a very niche down category so that's why i'm not able to coin so much but if you want to find very specific things, you can also find that. Let's say you are creating a most common. Look at this. Bro. This is literally awesome. This. Look at that. Look at the Xbox animation. Look at this. Everything is wonderful here. Also, let's say you are trying something with the uh, medical. Let's say medical. Uh, we can go with that. I don't know medicine spelling. Basically, it's medicines, right? Perfect. You just hit the medicine and you will be good to go. I think yes. Hit the save. Yeah. And look at this go. It takes time because my PC is lagging. It's not all website lagging on. Uh, so that's it. So like look at this. We have some animations. Look at this animation. You can use this in loading indication. And look at this guy. This is the perfect animation you would be using in your apps uh, or loading animations of your app. And this is completely free. What you have to do. You just come here once you see animation change the color if you want you can add the animation in the loti animation you can change the colors you can see so it will automatically match your backgrounds or the theme of your app let's say select this color or this color i want something cute yeah so you match with this color and then just hit the download uh, i have right now so look at this i'm so good that i have uh, download all of the 10 of them just download the json and when you downloaded that just go to your pub spec yaml uh, install the loti animation as you can see loti 2.70 and whenever you want to use that just write this line basically i will show you loti.assets the link of the json file given by the downloader 
and ignore the controller part. You don't have to use that. I think just yeah. Load here. Load as simple. Simple one line code animation, and you will have your custom loading indications like this. Look at this, like this, like Supreme, but still you can have them if you want. Right, so this is the one, this one is crucial website, I recommend, highly recommend to use that. I have created so many awesome animations using this and my apps look like fabulous just because of that. And I can even show you, like there are so many animations that I have used which are like crazy. And if you, like if your imaginations works, like look at this, this gradients in the background looks wonderful. This uh, AI icons can look wonderful. This is a wonderful icon. Like these are things work wonderful. If you have something regarding this, just check it out. And if you like it, it would be wonderful. Look at this. This is a perfect loading indication. If you have some, if your uh, niche or if you think is something like this, you can use it, hundred percent, right? So this is the loading animation. Using it very easy. It's completely free until you don't use the premium ones and it is a directly downloadable you can use up to 10 point id so you can create unlimited email ids basically look at this gradients man i'm just loving it that's why i'm here look at this it's moving if you just think about it you have a molliformism in your screen and you add this gradient in the background and that guy is moving you will have a wonderful animation right yeah that's it so moving forward i'll show you one simple awesome json basically or a uh, converter so this is a very open this is an open source and this is the code if you want of this website too that will be very real yeah so this is a website and what does this website do basically it converts your json into the dark so now you ask me what is the important what is the point of this we don't use this right so usually if you are a developer or if you know things about the apps if you could use some model or something let's say you are this so let's say i have this model right so this model is for stores so whatever the data is stored this is a class i have created and i can use i can create an object around this class using uh, initializing this class and all these parameters would be my properties and i can also call the methods also if I want it. but this is the properties i usually have and i usually mostly we fill this data from the json which is an api response so we usually have a back end and front end right so we get the data from the backend and we store the data in our models and we show them into the array because getting the data from JSON time to time using the square brackets as say this, uh, you can make mistakes like as say you want to get the data from the snapshot and rather than name you said capital N name. So this will not bring the data. So there are so many chances of getting the things wrong. To fix that, what we have done, we have created a model. So that's the basic application of using a model. That's what I'm saying. So yeah, this is from JSON. Basically, it converts the JSON to a model, which is our store. And this is a uh, two JSON. So basically, it converts the two JSON or uh, model data to the JSON. This is not mainly used until you want to send the data in the API to. This is not usually used, but this is a crucial one. So now, if you have an API with around twenty parameters, so you, what you have to do usually is you have to add over here. So I let's say I have a new parameter which is like uh store area let's say i have to add this then i have to come here i have to add this over here and then i have to come over here then i have to just copy yeah and i just i have to do everything right i have to know the key value name and everything it's so much work basically right so now what this file do as the name suggests it converts the json into the dot so let's say i show you i have this json let's say in that i have a json and i have id and id is uh one two three four five six seven then i have one more thing which is name okay and the name is fargo again a string so let's say this is an api response so i will say also mail uh this is true let's say i'm using a boolean over here always take care of this commas then say age and i will say 26 uh, i'm 22 exactly yeah you have to remember this guys you can't forget this guys right finally say description and we say hi i'm a flutter developer right 
So let's say you have this JSON or the API response you're getting and you want to create a model around which is called the user model. So if you have this website, you just come to this website, press the name of the class, let's say only the user name, generate the dot. So you can see it's basically the, the work we have wanted, right? So if you have so much more data, even if you have thousands of lines, you can just come, generate the dot, copy the dot, and go to your code and just paste it and you have your model over here exactly working like this isn't this wonderful yeah this is wonderful you have to use this okay so next thing is uh, flutter gem i think you might have known this website flutter gem is curated list of 6000 plus useful flutters and dart pipelines categories based on functionality so it solves a very simple problem which is finding a package so there are so many packages in front of there are around 20 30000 packages and there are only 50 to 20% of them are useful so let's say 6000 are useful because they said that and finding the right one if you know the name of the parameters or if you know the things what you want to do then it's easy work if you want to if you know i have to uh, i have a want one package which is helping me like to open the file then you can directly use that but what if you don't know like what we are not clear idea of the parameters or the term you want to open them or you want to do at this time this categorization helped a lot so just let's say you want to do something uh with the uh let's say i want some category yeah let's say you want to do with something with the uh multimedia like images pictures and everything and let's say you want to do a video something video ka. so we just go to the video right and you want a trimmer basically a video trimmer right so usually if you know the name you can directly search them but if you don't know the name you can just come here and you will eventually find one so there are so many players right stone final just go to the different column crop images let's find out You can see there are so many packages for properly i will guarantee you if you have never uh, opened this website you will uh, find something very useful over here that will eventually reduce your work you can see we find the video trimmer right directly over here so you, that's the uh, that's the theory right if you looking for something and if you're not finding anything if you're even looking for an idea of uh, something doing something just come to this section this is very helpful just let's say i want to create a timeline so there's an entire timeline folder and there's a packages which are timelines so they also tell you the reference status start everything and so much so this other one i think this will help you a lot there are chips attacks buttons multimedia filter contact and apart thing there's everything there's so many of them right so if you want something else just let me know in the comments if you have any doubts in Florida and once future videos in front on any specific topics just let me know drop them in or just simply hit a like uh thank you and have a nice day bye bye